Hey everybody, welcome to Car Question. I hope you're doing well. We've got another video for you this week about tires, winter tires, but this is more about a good question that you've asked us and I can hear a lot of time around. Do you stud a tire or do you not? And Danny, how are you doing? Really good, thank you, Mathieu. Danny, at Nokian, do you sell more studded tire or regular tire? Depends on the country, but uh, if you're talking about the, uh, the country of uh, Nokian, Finland, it's probably 85 to 90 percent the car use stud. So what is a stud exactly? But a stud, as you know, I carry stud with me all the time, have in my pocket there. He has it there in its pocket. <laughs> This is the stud. Okay. But as you can see, it's not the regular stud you can see in the garage because the stud in the garage, it's usually a T stud, they call. Um, it's a less performance than a stud like that. And the, the way you stud the tires, it's also less performance. How can you be sure that the, 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 the job of the studding has been done really good on your tire? It's pretty easy. If you use your hand and you touch the, the tires and you feel, not only feel, but if you injure your hands, if you, if you touch the tire, that's not a good sign. You're not supposed to feel the, the, the stud of, on the tires. When I look at the Nokian tire right there, the shape is really unique of the stud. And when I rub the tire, no injury was done. You can see that the, the studs are really deep inside. Exactly, because with the weight of the car, the stud works properly. How we can do that, it's pretty easy. We have a special machine at the manufacturer. We mount the tires and we stud the tires to make sure we have the right pressure when we put the stud in the tires. I've heard a lot of story about special studding tires. Sometimes a garage didn't even use the proper size, made two bigger studs. The client is there waiting in the front, uh, in the waiting room in the front, and you've got the guy in the back sweating around, working with his machine. And when I look at those tires, there's nothing even about the stud. This is dangerous in some sort of way. That's exactly the, where the story start. The studded tires, it's more dangerous on the asphalt, wet, wet or uh, dry asphalt. It's exactly that. Because the stud, it's a little bit bigger, too yeah. bigger for the tires, and is not correctly yeah. installed. installed. That's the problem. But if you have a tire like that, example for Nokian, the same tires with or without stud, the distance, the braking distance at 80 kilometers, yeah. it's, it's about the same. It's not more dangerous with stud. But really, what's the advantage and probably the inconvenience of having stud on a tire? Seriously, you have only one inconvenience. And the, the inconvenience is the noise. For sure, you have a metal pin hit the floor. For sure, you're going to hear it. But it's not so bad because we have a special, uh, special compound. We have a cushion under the, under the, the stud. They help a lot to uh, reduce the noise. But except this inconvenience, you don't have any more inconvenience. Well, I have another one. The date. You need to obey the law in certain country. And I know uh, when I go uh, to some friend's place, when I get into their underground parking, there's a big sign telling me that, hey, don't go there if you ask that. Well, sometimes I'm, I'm probably a rebel because I need my car to go in there, but it's, it's probably another disadvantage. Exactly. You need to make sure, example, if you live in a condo, you have a basement uh, parking, yeah. just to make sure it's okay. But except that, you have a lot of an advantage compared to the inconvenience you can get with the studded tires. The first one is traction. I can see that when I look at that, it's going to give me better traction. Exactly, especially on ice. On the ice, a studded tires, no friction tires can beat uh, studded tires on the ice, especially on lateral traction. You will feel it. That's the best thing, uh, studded tires. I've heard other story also about when you're when you lost control of your car, you're on the side, and some people with stud even recovered their car. I don't know how, but they they they, they went into safe mode by bringing the car back because they had the studding on their tire. That's the little hedge we have more than a friction tires. That's exactly what I told you. Just, you will have a better lateral traction, and probably sometime you will save. Uh, a couple, yeah. uh, couple of dollars of damage on your car. <laughs> Talk to me about the longevity. Does it make the tire last longer? A little bit last longer. We're talking about 5 to 10%, uh, even about the compound, because the compound is not exactly the same than you will, uh, you will have in the friction tires. The compound is a little bit harder, not too much, but a little bit harder. And also with the stud, you will gain probably 5 to 10% on the wear. 
are studded tar reserved for people living outside of the city where you've got some uh, fishing camps, where you've got some, uh, I don't know, construction site uh, out there? Uh, does the people of the city really have a use for studying? That's a good question because a lot of people think, oh no, I don't live in a in campaign or place like that. I don't need uh, studded tires. But you know what? The best place you will use your winter tires, it's on the dark ice, yeah. on the corner. On you the overpass. Exactly. You stop, you try to stop at the, at the four stop uh, corner and finally you finish, your, <laughs> finish the drive right in the middle of the, the street with the stud tires. This thing never happened. Or very, very, very rare you will have this problem. How much is it, you know, to stud a tire? Is there a price difference between a regular one and a studded one? Really good question. In the past, they have a big difference. But since two years, we're talking about five to ten dollars maximum, the difference between an Akaite without stud and Akaite with stud. But if you buy a tires, they need to stud it in the garage, you're talking about twenty to twenty-five dollars more. It's their hourly rate. Exactly. That's why sometimes you have a entry-level product, they will put some stud. It's almost the same price than the Norman 5. They come with the manufacturer stud directly from, the, from Nokian. It's a better quality of tires. So there you go. So I probably know your answer, but I'm going to ask it because this is the title of our video right now. Do you stud or not, Danny? Me, it's not a choice. Every time I do a lot of mileage in, in a year, we're talking about 70,000 kilometers per year. That's probably the safest tire I never drive in my life. That's why it's not a question for me. It's stud all the time. The only thing really important, if you put stud tires, you need to do some uh, 500 or one. Uh, you, you need to do uh, so, so, some kind, uh, as we call it in French, it's a rodage. That's a, nice, yeah. that, that's a nice word to say, but you need to be careful with the, the, the few miles. Well, your first gas tank. It's a braking period. You need to do that. And after that, as you said, five to 700 kilometers, the rubber would stick on the, on the stud and the stud will stay on the hole for sure. So for me, I've been rolling tires, winter tires for the first time that I got my driving license and my tires have always been studded. I've seen the worst tires in the past, but right now up to today with the factory studding, I really like those ones. The sound level is impressive. But right now, guys, you, do you stud or not? This is a great question that I'm asking you. Feel free to comment in the section down below. And remember, even if you get a sports car like this one, don't forget to stud. This is going to be the difference between you staying down the hill or going up at full power. Danny, thank you so much. Thank you, Matthew. And guys, don't forget, if you like that video, do a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel Car Question, because this is not our last video for you. See ya.